Morning, 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 guys. Beautiful day today, very sunny, and got some good news. Things have picked up. People are coming back after Easter, so I had quite a few calls yesterday. I got some calls lined up today, and just hopefully sign a few more clients in the next few days, which is good. I've got a message from a international school as well actually here in Shanghai that wants to potentially do some videos with me which is good news just done the proposal this morning so all is good just head into the gym do my uh, bit of boxing bit of weights session yeah I think that's the best way to deal with uh, you know, tough times when it comes to sales. You just got to keep keep at it. You got to plow, plow ahead. You know, I've got a lot of friends right now in Shanghai, around the world. They're just slowing down and becoming lazier, to be honest. But I'm doing the opposite. I'm just like, nope. I'm going to work for it. I'm going to work harder, and hopefully the hard work will pay off. Yeah, ironically, since yesterday, everyone started coming back and messaging me and saying, Daniel, so sorry, I missed your email. So I did all that moaning yesterday about, oh, Easter has really messed the business up, but actually things are back on track. So there's still a lot of people coming back on the 15th, which is a bit annoying. And because uh, Easter time, I haven't taken any time off. I've just carried on working, just kept at it. I always love this. You see this little, uh, this little bike coming now. Look. Tajir Chuyingo. There you go. Supporting England. <laughs> I do uh, love this thing. Uh, in China, they they do like that, like that uh, the Union flag. They like the design. It's quite iconic here. I see it on the bikes a lot and on bags and on accessories. So it's good to see someone supporting. This is good, but although this is very, very bad for me. Proper, might be a potential thumbnail, we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cheap. I don't know if I can show you making it. There you go. I was, I was saying you'll improve my video if you're in the video. Wow. Pretty interesting. Duo Xiao Qian. Six Kwai. Cheap. Hun Pian Yi. I Hun Hao Shu. But I can't. I can't. Yes, yeah. I can't eat that because my, uh, my diet is pretty strict at the moment. I gotta get rid of this dude's uh, this stomach. And the only way really is just through hard work, get to the gym, training pretty much every day with some rest days here and there, and a really good diet. So that's the only way. And to get rid of this chin, I'm still trying to get rid of the old double chin. Working on that one as well, and if I eat that, it's not gonna happen. But yeah, yesterday just worked through it, worked hard, and had a few meetings. It pays off, you just gotta plow ahead. A lot of people asking for proposals, which is good. I mean, the issue with dealing with UK companies in particular is they are very stubborn and they take a very long time to make decisions. So I prefer sometimes dealing with Chinese companies because Chinese companies just, you're not going to be sitting on a proposal for months and months. They're going to make a pretty quick decision. It's either yes or no. So you kind of know where you stand. So hopefully this school that I sent the <laughs> proposal to this morning, hopefully it's going to come back positive. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep you guys informed because they're a good school and it's... The students and the community look good. But it's not just that, it's also about the decision makers. So if, you, if, if you're dealing with a, a nice decision maker who is, is going to 
support you in what you do. I think that's quite key. Yeah, you always want clients that are, are stern, you know, they're firm with their vision, but also they're gonna support you. So we'll see how that goes. But yesterday, yeah, it was pretty full on with work. A lot of uh, just staying in. Obviously, I, I did get my cardio done. And I've had some good responses on these vlogs, actually. I mean, in China, they're doing really well. Um, so the YouTube is growing now. YouTube, I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers. Things with YouTube is YouTube's all about the watch time. So it's all about how many uh, watch hours you get. I think it's 4,000 watch hours. And that, that's a little bit of a thing I wish I'd done 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when YouTube, if YouTube first started, if you'd started doing videos 15 years ago, even if you used a really crappy camera, you'd be big by now, right? You'd have a following, but it's better late, late than never. It's better to start as quickly as possible. Gonna book a trip soon somewhere, considering Macau, considering Japan. UK is on the cards in the next couple of months. That's what I do miss about the UK sometimes. It's a little bit cut off from family and what's actually happening. You know, family members are moving ahead and but this is the life I've chosen I'm happy happy with uh, things you know, I'm always striving for more always looking to work hard and get more but we'll see so Yeah, it's good to get out. Good to get a bit of sun. I've been in all morning. And... Need to have... Uh, next few days are quite critical with decision making and... Hopefully gonna sign some deals. We'll see how that goes. I was gonna go to this offline event tonight, but I've decided to just stay in and have a few calls with some UK companies and then I will, uh, it's, 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 cool. it's, it's always like a balancing act. Do you go to this offline event when you know half the people there, you know, half of them don't even have any money to really invest in you, but then it is good to get out and meet people. There's always that. What do you want to do? But I guess I'm meeting people now. I'm out and about, I'm meeting people, speaking to people. <laughs> this is an interesting market. See this place. I don't know, maybe I can do a quick walk through here, guys, to just show you this. Uh, it's a little food market. I'll show you some interesting. Uh, it's usually where the elderly go here in China, but it's a lot of stuff that if I eat this, I'm going to get a dulce. I'm going to get a bit of a dulce. But you can see some of the food here. Pretty interesting. A lot of uh, chicken and fish. Hello. Hello. So in China, it's like Jungle. Hello. 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 Menu, we can buy fong mian ma. You do this. I do this. You do this. I do this. This. Very good. You can help me. What? Xiao Hong Shu, Dou Ying, Weixin Shi Ping, Bai De Hai. Bai De Hai. Now. If they don't do it now, they won't. Bai De Bai, Dou De De, Han Yin De Han. Where are you? Try. Try not to try. Yingguo. 你是哪里人 
，你还会用九宫格，真厉害！谢谢。嗯，看你，第一个。哦。高丽饭，这么多粉丝啊！<笑>大网红啊！呃，不是网红，我是博主。博主，哎呀，真棒！<笑>好了，广告，我我给你们广告，广告。OK， 我我很高兴是你，谢谢你的支持。再见，拜拜。This、lovely lady. So um, yeah, I just got to follow me. <laughs> you get that every now and again. Oh, go. Is it chicken? Okay. Mate, well, baby, go on, go. Oh, one more. <laughs> I'm saying I'm giving you free advertising. There you go. This is this is an interesting one. I like that. Ah, Ni hao. We'll give you one go. Tea. Tea over here. Tea. Jasmine tea. Ni 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 hong bang. English. There you go. Vegetables. Just doing potential th thumbnails that might work. Well, I mean, look at the size of this place. This place just goes on and on and on. Hello. Niha, see, they're all Tam and Dol and Yohao. They're all very friendly. They're all friendly. There you go. Got uh, different types of nuts here. And it's a nice smell. It's like really and xin xian. It's quite a, a fresh smell here as well. So that's a good one. Yeah, but these markets are pretty amazing. Oh my God, it's huge. I've never actually walked through this place. This is, this place is huge. Wow. I don't usually get my uh, fruit and veg from places like this, but maybe I should, because it's, it's fresh. Um, it's, uh, people are friendly. It's good to support local businesses. You can see all this kind of stuff, there you go. All sorts of interesting fruit and veg. The only thing that makes me feel a little bit uneasy, and I'll tell you this, is when I see the. Um, for me, I don't like seeing the. Uh, the, the I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I'll eat the food, but um, if I see, there you go. You've got barbers here. Get your hair cut. Clothing. The thing I don't like is if I see like a fish market, and I see the, the suicide shrimp jumping out. That makes me feel a little bit uneasy, but I'm a hypocrite, aren't I? Because I'll happily eat the food, eat the fish or the meat or whatever it is, but I won't see it, you know, for what it is. See the tanks of fish and so, oh, it's a bit quiet now. There you go, got a little seamstress here. Do a little, uh, pretty interesting. See, this is all unplanned, guys. It wasn't planning on taking you guys here. Got a little spa here. Flowers, got everything you ever need. See, we need to support businesses like this, not rely too much on Ding Dong or Herma. Support your local businesses. So, <laughs> so yeah. And see, like, people are very friendly here. Got noodles here. Any, every type of noodle you can ever have. This is um, tea and uh, alcohol, special uh, special type of alcohol. Baijiu, it's Baijiu. That will. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Baijiu, to be honest. See, this is what I don't feel. I don't know whether I should film this, but I don't feel too comfortable with that kind of stuff like when you see the the shrimp and stuff and the fish i know i'm a hypocrite aren't i the, but that's one thing got all sorts of uh ni hao see i prefer it when it's like this when it's like this and it's frozen it's dead i like it when it's like that but when it's in a fish that they tend, you know, it's, it tends to be because it's fresher. Xin xian. Fresher. <laughs> but, uh, so, um, oh, we've got all sorts in here. But, yeah. It smells good, though. Sometimes you do come to these markets and you think, oh, it's not been, but it's, it smells pretty fresh here, so it's pretty clean. Right, guys. 
going to, uh, there you go, there's a little uh, basic food market tour here in China. A lot of negotiation going on, I can hear, I can hear people, they jang jia, they uh, negotiate. These are quite common in China, see these little nuts and nut shops. I do like to eat uh, jengo, different types of nuts. But yeah, decent, I should come back here. This is this is one of my favorites. I love this kind of stuff. What's well, the one too? Love this kind of stuff. I can't I can't right now because of the dudes. Because of the dudes, I can't eat it. Right guys, speaking of which, I need to hit the gym. Which is down this way. Go and hit my gym. And uh, as I like to call it, it's, it's a main new gym. As I'm the only guy in there usually. We'll do a bit of boxing. And then uh, I'll have a bit more of a chat after my session. Oh. That place is like a, a, a maze of different food and shops and it's good to support your local businesses as well. There's one thing I don't do it enough in the UK is I don't go to those little markets. People don't really go to them anymore. You know, everyone just buys everything online. I think it's uh, it's good to go to those kind of places. So yeah, I, I might go there one day and just uh, see, I'm scratching the chin. I'm like, hmm, it's giving me ideas to go in there and So, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's good to just walk around sometimes those local places and, and find out a little bit more about um, what's happening in your local area. All right, gonna hit the gym. Jim, Jiminy, Jim, Jiminy, Jim, Jim, Jim. It's a lot of quiet here. Quiet here, Lisa. Anyone in there? Oh, yeah. Right, guys. So we're going to do a little bit of a sesh, a bit of a bit of cardio, a bit of boxing, and uh, get rid of the old dudes. We're going to get rid of this dudes. So, Jayo. <laughs> 